the solar storm. Warning, solar radiation detected. Find shelter, soon power, 75%. Warning. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Occupy Mars. Uh, we're just hitting the auto save. Also, we're having a solar radiation storm here this morning, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to leave our capsule um, for a little bit. Um, which, uh, weather forecast, solar storm within the next hour, solar storm. Yeah, so right now we are a little stuck inside on a solar storm. So, what we'll do is we'll sit in here and wait a little bit, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably actually move this into our inventory um, just get ready to like what we'll do is we'll put that in our quad bike when we leave and uh, hopefully the solar storm won't last too much longer uh, because I do want to head out and I do want to hit up a base I want to head back to where we just were but um, I don't really want to head out in the solar storm because um, it can actually potentially kill us um, is there any do we have any med kits sitting in our inventory currently no don't I thought we have men kits in our inventory and we don't we don't we don't have right now we have food and water and stuff but other than that I am a little stuck but yeah we need to well really we need to start putting all of this stuff somewhere um we're starting to run out of room rapidly in our inventory this is why I didn't want to bring too much stuff with us just because I know we're going to get an absolute boat ton of stuff but yeah we're, we're starting to run out of room of to put things quite rapidly so um might have to cut down on the amount of stripping we're doing um and then if we have to we can always come back um at a later date but uh, how long is this solar storm going to last for uh gim you're going to tell me how long it's going to last for let's have a look in these cabinets anyway while we uh while we wait uh, i don't really see anything in these Usually the solar storms don't last too long, but if it lasts like a whole day, we're going to have to uh, probably brave it a bit. Um, yeah, there's nothing in these, which is a bit shocking. Um, yeah, game. how long is the solar storm going to last for? Um, because I don't really want it to last all day. I love how pretty it is though out there. It's like green. Also, I don't really think it gives any extra power to our panels either. Right, like right now we're we've got plenty of power to last us. But um I think a lot of the work we need to do is technically outside for today. Um safety pull. Emergency opens there though. I wonder if you could actually read that. Yeah, that's one thing I don't really know about this game is how many Easter eggs to potentially put in the game. Things. Didn't really. Yeah, uh, I haven't really been looking for Easter eggs. But um, yeah, what we might have to do is we might have to go outside and brave it potentially. What's our health on? Our full health. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll put our helmet on, we'll go outside and see what we can brave. Now we're going to go grab some water, um, first things first. Don't really think it's going to harm us too much though. I'm sick of being inside, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning right now. Um... Radiation's high. I think it's gonna yeah okay yeah that's taking our health down really really quick um can we get in please yep uh not a good idea i didn't know it was gonna start taking our health down that quickly yeah it looks like we're stuck inside for for a little bit there's not really much we can do either uh, inside so what i'm probably gonna do is i'll probably cut this bit out while the solar radiation storms aren't going but i think what i'll do though is do we have enough to make a med kit yeah we do uh, I'm going to make two. Just because we can. I know we can find them and everything, but...
Uh, we don't really have a lot of med kits. Oh well, no, our health's all right actually. Uh, I'm just gonna leave those med kits in our inventory just in case I need them. Um, also, we've got like loads of water pipe as well, which I don't really need on me. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is I'll just dump stuff in here for now, just so it's like not on us. There's another hundred of those. <laughs> Uh, aluminium plates, aluminium plates, yeah, we've got like loads of aluminium plates. Got loads of just about everything right now. Now that's going to go on our bike. Um, yeah, I, I think that's headed us up there nicely, actually. Uh, actually, we'll move out the 100 solar cells as well. There's a little bit of extra inventory room. Uh, but yeah, um... What I'll do is um, I'm going to cut out the solar storm here and uh, I will be back when it is over. So I will see you guys. Actually, I think it's over. I'm no longer getting warnings on my uh, on the map down here. So I was going to cut it out. But let's head out. I think we're good. Solar storm is over. Yes, it is. Awesome. There we go. It only took to like 10 a.m. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It's taken up a bit of our morning, and we had to stay in our capsule for a bit longer than I would have liked, but it's all right. Um, right, let's just switch our O2 around. We've got plenty of that. Uh, fill that up. Right, let's head on out, shall we? Let's head back over there, and we'll do that. Um, but yeah, um, uh, actually, let's, um, also put in, uh, where did I put that in the panel? Uh, yeah, it's in here. So let me just pull that into there. That's like what's in there. Um, yeah, we're, we're slightly starting to run out of space in this thing. Just a little, not too much, just a little. That's all right. All right, let's head over here. We'll go tear down the rest of this place and then um, we'll move next door. We'll go do the same there. Um, I think we're on the... Yeah, we'll get one entire new episode now, aren't we? So, yeah, we've got like two days ahead of me. Uh, this day's probably going to go well quick, though. Uh, but, yeah, I think we'll, by the time we've grind down both of these bases over here, we should be good to move on. Um... We're now trying not to grind down too much just because we're, we're starting to run out of a bit of room. We might end up going back in, uh, home in the next few days, but yeah, I'll, I'll need to fix out some storage situations back at home, I think. Because the amount of stuff we are bringing back, I'm going to need it. Which means a couple more storage cabinets, I do believe. Maybe one, more, one to two more, I think. Um, yes, I know they use power and stuff like that. They're a bit pointless, but we need storage. I need places to store things. If it takes up a bit of extra power, and I, I know that the refrigerator and the um, in the storage cabinet they take power, and I think they both do exactly the same thing, even though they're called exactly the same thing as well, which is a little confusing, but it is what it is. So it looks like we've got everything over here. Maybe it'll just be get everything else we can. Uh, so just take this down. Just gives us a pack of screws and an aluminium plate. It gives us um, points as well as we go. Ooh. Zooming around a bit too quickly now. Anything else we can take out? Oh, I think it's just this light here. Probably be able to take out like uh, like some of these on the sides of the building, but we're not going to take those out yet. I'll just take out these um, light poles, lamp posts, or whatever you want to call them. I think the Americans call them lamp poles. All right, we'll head next door.
and we'll uh, we'll go loot this place and tear this place down. Looks like it's an absolute disaster. But what we'll do is we'll charge this up while we uh, while we loot this place. Right, so let's stop here. Let's um, pop down. Uh, give me a second. I'm just hitting all of the wrong buttons. Um, blueprints. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's build this thing. Don't really think we need to recharge our suit either. I think we're good on that. Come on, we can do it. Yeah, definitely upgrade this thing, I think. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just charge our suit just so we're, we're full. We're on 75%, so. Not going to take too long. Suit recharged. Let's charge this thing while we do that. I can charge, so it's like multitasking at its finest. Uh, let's turn on this so we can see where all our sexy tablets are and everything else we need to grind down. I think let's just get to grinding. This place is going to be a good place to grind. It's going to just be going to be a nice tidy up type of thing. I think I like a lot of this way we can actually scrap. No, maybe it's not. I think we'll be able to scrap a bit more of this. And I'm a little stuck. Can I seriously not scrap this? No. Okay. Good to know. What I'll do is I'll scrap what I know I can scrap. as we go scrap as we go and as we loot if I find stuff underground I will do a quick reload so we can grab those uh, I'm stuck there we go more stuff we can scrap the better I think I see a tablet right there as well which is nice I do like me some abandoned tablets Oh wow, look at all that stuff over there as well. Go. I think that's stuff we could have ground down next door, but I'm not really too fussed about it. that tablet's out there look and get some more of this uh, solid rocket fuel which is good for future stuff looks like we've got some calcium here as well uh, i'm not really seeing nothing there i don't really think that this place has got much to do loot it does and it doesn't just got a lot of up everywhere. This place has definitely been abandoned for a while. All we'll do is we'll just grind these up and we can collect the uh, the stuff inside. Secondary. More solid rocket fuel, which will be good for defenses. I think. I think uh, what we can do is we can get like base defenses. Like if you guys remember that episode where we got meteor hits. Um, I think we can build like a defense system to protect our base against that type of stuff which will be good it's probably going to be expensive though and probably not something we're going to set up relatively soon it'll be one of those things we set up eventually now, once our base gets to a certain size as well we'll well we'll have to set it up i think we're getting a to be honest with you, I think with the abandoned tablets we're getting right now, I think we're going to have uh, most of that tech relatively soon. 
I'm hoping anyway. Here's to hoping. Yeah, this place is absolutely an absolute mess. Get everything we can. Not sure if we can take out much of this. No. I'll do so take out all these cabinets. These are actually uh, are really easy to uh, scrap. Yeah, the way the uh, way, way how fast we're scrapping this stuff, I think we're not going to be too much longer, really. Yeah. All of this scrapping stuff is actually going relatively quickly. I'm not really seeing much outside as well to scrap. I think we can scrap this stuff, I think. No, we can't. That's fine. Uh, right, where was this stuff? What was out here? There's our tablet I want. There we go. We've got our abandoned tablet. I think we can scrap this because there's a solar panel. Large solar panel. Very big. I think that's the size of the solar panel we've got currently. Yeah, let's um, scrap all this stuff. I think we've fully looted the place now. I think it's just really now getting the scrap. That's all we need. Take these out. So yeah, um, another thing is I I've also got plans. Um, where we're going next after this place uh, like you know how we've like headed up over here and we've set up a little temporary base up here I've got another place I want to go uh, after this place so um, when we get home we'll do some like home renovations and renovations yeah definitely didn't say that right did I <laughs> but yeah we'll we'll go do some upgrades on our on our home and then we'll uh, we'll go from there which is not going to be too too bad. It's not going to take us too long to do such a thing as well. Oh, wow, well, we can actually scrap this. Some of this stuff we can actually scrap then. What we'll do is we'll do one more loop around the base and just make sure we've got everything, and then what we'll do is probably start heading to the next place I think. They're not going to be too far away. I think I can drop these, can I? No. Right, so let's do one last loop around just to make sure we've got everything. Uh, I'll leave that there for if, when we come back. I think I can scrap this. Can't scrap that. I think I can scrap this stuff though. I'll figure out where to scrap it from. No, I don't think I can scrap this. I oh, know I can. Bit of a dodgy texture this as well. There we go. Scrap the dodgy texture. Yeah, I think that is. Oh, we missed a bit here. Look. Other than this, that's it. We're done here. Right, I guess let's head over to the next place. Uh, we are done here. Uh, we've got abandoned tablets from both of these. We are pretty much done. Right, let's um, unplug you. Um, no, I wanted to unplug, but hey ho. Take this thing down sparks during the day and it also takes a bit longer during the day to grind that thing down uh, it would help also if I hit the right buttons as well let's uh, close the socket on that uh, and let's figure out where we're going to go um, right so what we'll do is I'll just mark these as um, being in grinded both of them also I will untrack that
you ever guys wanted to know I uh, wondered why I do the B and the G. Um, the B means to bean, and the G is for grinder down. Um, so, um, we have been to pretty much all of these here. Um, I think I do see this one down here, which we probably need to go to. Or is that the one I've already been to before? I do see a base down there we can go to, but it's a little bit too far away. Um, and it's in the hills, I do believe. So... Now uh, what we'll do is I will just paste that, which is from a previous episode where I actually copied that. So uh, I guess what we'll do is uh, where's our operating base? There's our base there. This one's fairly close. So I guess we'll go there next. So let me track that. Now it looks like there's another base over here. Look, which I will um, I will mark on the map. Um, also all these stairs well, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to head up north here as well. Um, so yeah, we've probably got maybe this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, and then I think one up over here, which we're going to go to. Or one up here we're going to go to as well. But yeah, we've got a, a couple of episodes left uh, up here. Um, but it might be one of those things where we just sort of go to them, loot them, and then... Uh, and that's about it. Um, what time is it? Um, sort of getting... Yeah, what we'll do actually, we'll head back. We'll head back and then we'll sleep. And we'll come back over here tomorrow. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm a little bit stuck on what I want to do really um in a way i do want to go back home i want to go do some upgrades um i don't really want to do any more grinding but we sort of need to do it still to unlock more stuff um yeah it's one of those but like i really want to stay out here for longer but in another way, we're also running out of places to store things. Because I'm running out of places to store things, it means when we get back, we're going to have no room to store them when we get back either. So, it, most of it's going to sit in our inventory for a while, while we figure things out. Which is, it, it's alright, it's just not the greatest. I think we probably headed back a little bit too early, but I'd rather head back a little bit too early than like not enough. I guess what we could do as well today is I'm probably just going to whack some charge into this um, ATV. Just because we can. Like, we've got the battery power for it. Um... I think what we'll do is we'll probably hook this thing up tonight. Charge off our battery power. We can afford it, so we've got more than enough power. Not ideal, but might as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get our battery, and I'm just going to output more on the battery. Um, like we've got plenty of battery power. Um, so I'm thinking it says 16 kilowatt hours. What I'll do is I'll probably knock it up to uh, 36. I think we'll have more. Yeah, we've got more than enough to last that overnight. Um, and then what I'll do is I will... Um, I'll just increase the ATV by, let's say, 20. Uh, no. I need to even this out a bit. Uh, that costs 5 kilowatt hours. That is... I uh, can't remember. I think that's about 10 kilowatt hours we need on that. To run that overnight. Uh, and then the rest of the total output can... Just go there, I think. Uh, 
Uh, so 30, 47. I'm just trying to do quick math in my head. There we go. That there is the total out. We've got enough power for that, enough power for that, I do believe. Uh, so this here should be charging very nicely. We'll turn that back, back down to 16. Uh, yeah, it's charging there nicely. We've got enough power in here. Yeah, we've got enough power in here for the night. Uh, let's just go over here and make sure we've got enough over here as well. Should do. Should have more than enough. And also, we'll fill up our water bottle while we're here. Might as well. Do a little bit of base maintenance, I guess. Um, yeah, this only requires 10 kilowatt hours. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll probably just um, refeed everything back out. We're going to probably knock down two of those panels before we leave. We're going to leave this transformer here as well as this um, battery pack and this transformer. Uh, we're going to leave probably this up and running uh, while we're here. Uh, or while we're not here, I should really say. What I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to just put another... Um, actually, I think I can do it like right now. Just so we're producing a little bit more... Um, resources uh so what i want to do is i want to put a water tank on can i put another one here no i can't uh, i was gonna see if i could put another water tank here just so we can um like expand this a little bit but i'm thinking what we might do is i might just get some of the big tanks and put them here somewhere or over here i know it's a little bit of a waste but like um i, I sort of want to put like a big tank down here just so when we come back like this he can literally just sit here and produce stuff for us and then we can use one of these tanks just to like store stuff then when i come back i've got enough um stuff here for um uh, well for mainly uh where's he at for this big boy oh, also we've got plenty of water as well which is also nice to have um, but yeah, I'm hoping that we can get this from our abandoned tablets. Um, I really want to get Torch 2 as well, which we haven't unlocked yet. Um, I think we're still on Torch 1 at the moment. Uh, yeah, we are. We're on Torch 1. So uh, hopefully I can unlock this so we can build faster. Unlock this so we can get around more. Um, this is the Meteor Defense I really want. Uh, we can grab that. Uh, jetpack I'm not really too fussed about. Blowtorch 2 we've almost unlocked. Um, grinder 3 we're on our way to getting. Um, yeah, there's there's a few bits and pieces which would be nice to have. We're in a tenement control we can grab. A lot of this stuff like really is going to be mainly base building stuff. Um, like having like this, the small crusher will be good to have when we get the, um, the rover, um, advanced connectors and hangar would be really, really nice to have when we get that. Social rooms, main HQ would be nice to have just so we can set things up nicely. Yeah, like, there's bits and pieces I want. But like they're not like giant to have. Like um like botany I think is one thing we're gonna have to like sort of like um sort of focus on and start getting and start growing stuff and getting some like large domes and this down the other, but that's a little bit away for now. Uh the botany is gonna come eventually. Uh, I think that's gonna be one of the things we sort of focus on. Maybe it's when we get to the botany side of it, I might end up just playing the game myself and then doing like a an update on, on another occasion just to show you guys what we got up to. Who knows? Right, let's uh, take this off. Um, we've got nine tablets now. Yeah, we're going to go get a few more. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, I think we're good on just about everything else other than hunger. We need to consume some more food. We're good on that front. Uh, Batteries are fully charged. This is good. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow morning and we'll, uh, we'll go outside, set out our battery power again. 
lower that down to 16 kilowatts and then we'll even it between here and there and then that'll be pretty much it probably oh well we're actually not even at 12 so what we'll do is we'll sleep a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll wake up again and we'll sleep again a little bit more Morning. we can only sleep um a few hours in this place now what was the warning for i'm guessing just the cold all right let's sleep till it's 7 40 uh 7.50, I'll do. And I'll take a sip of my drink while this um, does this. We're also hitting an auto save, which is going to hit another one here in a second. And we're in the next day. Welcome to Sol... 50-something. I'm not sure what day we're on. Let's have a look. After the auto save again. Fifty-three. We're on Sol fifty-three. Now we're gonna head straight outside. Uh, we're not that long off. We're not gonna get hurt, so not too bad, right? Let's um, let's just knock this down to like zero. Then what we'll do is we'll um, we'll knock this down to sixteen kilo hours again, and then we'll split this between them two. Um. This was 10 kilowatt hours, and this one was... Actually, let me just do this, and then what we'll do is we'll do this until we've got enough. There you go. But there should be enough kilowatt hours to keep this up and running as well, so we'll just pop in our head inside just to make sure it's all up and running. Working? Yep, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Let me out, please. Thank you. Uh, I, I wanted to disconnect the charger there, but... There we go. Right. Let's um, head on out, shall we? We're not going that far away either, uh, which is nice. Uh, I like not traveling too far away from our base of operations here, but... We haven't got many days left. I don't think. Got a few days left up here. What we might end up doing is instead of grind... Well, actually, no. I, we'll grind down the easy stuff still. Um, I was going to say that we weren't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I, I, re I really need the points. Really. But yeah, what we're gonna have to do is um, when we head back, we're gonna have to sleep and then head back. I think. I think what we'll do is we'll spend maybe a day just trying to prep and head back. Like when we get back, we're, uh, all of our crops are going to be ready to harvest, as well as um, we're gonna have to start the expansion. Um, I think that's one of the things we're gonna have to do more or less immediately when we get back is expand. starting to run out of um <laughs> start well we're out of room we've been out of room for a while it's um but we, we've hit that limit to what we can do well hello little base see, there's something up there in the mountain there you just see it flickering right above our head on the edge of the hill While we're here, there's another base over there. I think we're heading there next. Right, let's see what we can find. And wow, there's some really low profile solar panels. Grab those as well. So it looks like we've got some uh, some waste. Just that grind stuff down. Another med kit, which is nice. Take it. Our health is okay, it's not the best. And there's our next point for the grind stuff down with. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here we can grab. Which is good. It means that we're, um, we're going to get lots of points. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think I can figure this thing out as fucking I know. Right, there's some food. We've got food. Always good to have food. Okay, looks like we've got some more calcium. We've got an aluminium plate. Some looking, I think that was. Just easy to tear down the um, containers first. Okay, so we've got more MRE, some more solid rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel is going to come in clutch for when we um, when we need build stuff. Alright, this looks like it's going to be a, like a good grind down session in here as well. Which I'm guessing we'll probably do first. I've not seen any abandoned tablets yet. There's got to be one here. Usually with every structure there's an abandoned tablet. We've got to go find those. It might be next door. All we'll do is we'll grind down this room first and then we'll go next door. Grind all this down. Yeah, this thing's this stuff takes a while. <laughs> I still love the music in this game, it's like so peaceful. Like I, I just feel like I can just sit here and grind and just, you know, casually take my time. I like games like this, like, um, like I'm looking forward to Starfield. Uh, I know that's gonna, probably going to be a bit faster paced and uh, episodes aren't going to be as long and stuff, but... Oh, uh, no, actually, sorry, the episodes are going to be long. I do apologise. Yes, they are going to be long episodes. I'm not going to make short little episodes. Like probably like the first couple of episodes are going to be at least an hour long. Hopefully, I don't have to talk too much. Um, hopefully, the game will do a lot of the explanation for me. Um, hopefully, there's not going to be too much reading involved as well. I don't really like video games where it makes you read a lot, like... I know Bethesda's one of those game companies what likes you to read a bit. Especially when it comes to, um, like, dialogue and stuff like that, like, it, like you can choose options. Dialogue options, that is. I've played Fallout before. <laughs> Sometimes when I play video games, I just like, I want to, um, like, I more want to just sit there and, like, l let the dialogue, like, do its thing than me actually have to read dialogue. It's just a laziness thing, I think. Especially a big game, like, um, like a Bethesda game, you don't really want to have to read too much. bulkhead here so I can't grind that down but okay, we're getting uh, plenty of stuff from in here as well just nearly 12 o'clock it's nearly midday right now and we've um, already taken down pretty much an entire structure Also trying to remember how long I've recorded for. I think this is like the second day, right? Yeah, this is like the second day of um, this recording episode session. A bit. I'm pretty sure. Grinding away. Up these things, whatever these things are, the charging stations. 
That really makes me want to go watch a Star Trek episode. <laughs> right, let's head next door. Also, before we leave as well, we'll check out the map. Do all those in a minute. I'm guessing the abandoned tablet's going to be in here somewhere. If I would have to guess. Pull the cell. Getting some like rocks and stuff from in here now, which is nice. I'm still not seeing the um, the abandoned tablet. Take out the shelf and then we'll do the rest. Oh. Get rid of all of that. There's a pack of screws anyway. Oh well. Yeah. This uh this grinding game is really starting to get uh, intense. <laughs> a lot of grinding involved right now uh, in the last few episodes. I'm enjoying exploring though as well. Um, yeah, I, I really want to do some like base expansion stuff. Get that working. Hopefully we'll get some good things out of the tablet so we can expand. Uh, which is what I'm hoping for. Bulkhead as well. I'm really excited for Starfield though. Um, I hope it's um, hope it lives up to the hype. It's been a long time in the making. Um, one of those games what's been been on my radar for many many years, and I'm happy it's coming out this year. Um, There's also a thing of, I really hope it lives up to the hype, like I, I, like I've been hyped about it for a while, uh, since the, um, they sort of announced it a few years back, uh, really, um, so it's been on my radar for more than a few years, definitely. But um, it's one of those games as well where I just really hope it lives up to the hype. Right, I think that's all the bulkheads. Yep, and that looks like it's just about everything I can grab from in here. Right, let's head outside and let's, um, let's go take out the solar panels. Uh, and then we will head on to the next place well probably not the next place by the time we've done that we're probably gonna be heading home and then the episode I can't quite click this please don't say I'm stuck there we go all right let's go grab the solar panels what we'll do oh I didn't actually charge this thing up during the day did I oops oh well we should be all right I don't think these solar panels are going to be too bad to take out. It's not really worth them um, setting up a solar panel now. Yeah, we've got plenty of oxygen. I'm not really too worried about that. Yeah, that's one thing out here which we've got plenty of right now. Uh, is oxygen. Now as well, I know that the base is up and running as well. Um... Like, or how to set up a base relatively quickly. When we set up our next one, the next one should be a lot quicker at setup. 
That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Oh, and I accidentally pressed the all right, I'm right mouse click, which puts away our, our item. But yeah, and the next bit should go up a lot quicker. It should uh, should be able to produce a lot of stuff really, really quickly. Which is what I'm hoping for. Uh, I like I like setting things up quickly. Cricket is a bit better. It means that we can, uh, you know, we can go looting a bit easier, and we've got a capsule which can keep us alive. Which I like using the capsule, but at the same time, I don't. Like it's a little bit restricting, and also we can only sleep in it for eight hours. Like it, it, in case of emergencies, it's pretty good, but I don't know. Oh, good damn it! I clicked again. <laughs> I'm thinking about um, something else, I think. Which, um, I'm not sure if like we should maybe um, instead do a like do a workshop or something, and then just put a scrubber in. Then workshops also do take up a lot more power. Then that's pretty much pretty much another base then. Um, I think using the capsule as like a little habitation module is probably good enough. Just to keep us alive. That's, that's all it really does. It keeps us alive, lets us sleep if we need to. Some more cement, so we've got plenty of cement. Uh, we've still got hours left in this day as well, which is nice. The solar panels are not taking too long to grind down either. I'm not getting a lot of solar cells from them though. They're taking a long time to get rid of as well. Also, they're really, really low to the ground. They're very low profile panels. No more inventory. Oh, we've filled up our inventory. I've only just realized that too. Damn it, that means we're not being collecting stuff. Um Yeah, uh, that's full. I think we've got enough space now. Yeah, we're we're pretty much full right now. It's not good. I only just realized I only just looked in the bottom left and then realized that we were full. Yeah, we're we're gonna struggle on getting stuff back, I think. Alright, there we go. This place is done. Right, let's have a look at our map to figure out where we can go. If there's any more this is on our radar, which we haven't got. Looks like we've got this place on our radar. Not really seeing much. I'm seeing another base over here. Yeah, what we might have to do is we might have to take a day trip back home just to go drop some stuff off, but... I guess we could always drop in our capsule again, eh? Right, I think that's, um, let's head back to our capsule. Just because I think we need to drop some stuff off. And um, we'll come back over here again. That's something on the ground I missed. That feels like there's something on the ground there which I missed. Steel plate. Oh, I was hoping that I could get back out the door <laughs> before it closed on me. Right, there we go. I think we're, I'm happy now that we've got pretty much everything from here. But yeah, I think we're going to have to offload over back at home. Uh, or back at our operating base over here. Um, but, uh, yeah, what we might have to do is we might have to go home to come back to pick up more stuff to go back again. Um, that might be something I do off camera, potentially. I'm um, just... 
a lot of backwards and forwards. Um, I think we're at our limit of what we can, where we can be out here for. I think we need to go back home and drop some stuff off. Uh, especially with the amount of grinding we're doing right now. We're doing that much grinding and we're getting that much material. We are... We're not in a good spot. Again, we can drop it off in our capsule and stuff, but... Still, we we need we need room to take stuff back with us. Yeah. Actually, what we'll do is we'll drop off as much as we can here. Then what we'll do is we'll go back out. We've got plenty of storage room here. It's just that we're going to have to do a lot of backwards and forwards. Now backwards and forwards from this capsule back home to come back, go back again. I think I, in one day I can go home and back in one episode I think or like at least in one day if I have to I can always stay at one end overnight that's not too much of a bad deal but yeah we're, we're full on inventory space damn it I didn't realize <laughs> until probably very late on right let's um let's start dumping some stuff in here anyway because uh, I know the solid rocket fuel can go in here. Uh, actually, what we can probably do is we can probably actually put the mo uh, the spare med kits in here, probably. It gives us a little bit of extra room. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take um, take those out of there. What I'll do is I'll take these out of here as well. Of inventory space. Let's, um, let's start putting stuff in here. This is where I'm going to start storing some stuff. Um, just for now. Uh, so the silicon can go in there. The calcium can go in there. The aluminium can go in there. Uh, then what I'll do in here. I will just put the cement. I'll put these in here. Those in there. Them in there. That in there. Uh... Probably the steel plates can go in there, the solar cells can go in there, uh, they can go in here, uh, steel plates can go in there. Uh, we've only got 50 of those, we've got 70 of those, I'll just move those in there for now. Uh, organic fertilizer, uh, actually. Can go in there because I can stack that can stack right so I think I've tidied everything up a little bit gives us a little bit of extra inventory space and stuff but we are getting very very full seriously we do not have dehydration there you go we'll just go fill up that the water bottle <laughs> while we're on we may as well. Also, we're getting hungry, so we'll uh, eat some food as well. But yeah, what we might have to do is we might have to um, might have to actually dump some stuff into our crates just to create that extra couple of spaces of inventory space. Okay, yeah, we're good. So yeah, what we could probably do is probably put the food in here. So we've got food in here. Instead of on our person. Uh, also, we, we probably took too many of these with us. We didn't need that much. But, um... I think... We should be able to dump at least that one in there. Uh, we've got a couple of these which I can't put anywhere. So what we'll do is... The pipes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them in here. Because they're at least full stacks. But there should then open up our inventory for a lot more uh, stuff for us to carry. Um, might have to open up the binding tablets before we go back home as well. Um, I think it's going to be like a, a two trip. Uh, so like maybe it's two days where I I sort of go home with you guys. And then maybe um, come back and then go back home um, again at another time uh, off camera potentially 
Um, but I think we're good for a little bit longer. So if I just pop up on the radar, uh, where we've just been, which is here, we've been, we're, we're done there. Uh, so I think what we'll do next is we'll head off over here. Um, probably. Why is that a circle, not a, um, an icon? But yeah, we, we've been there. So I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll head, maybe it's here or here. Um, in the next one, I'm thinking that we maybe head over here and hit up this one, and then head over here and then up here, and then that means we've only got maybe one to two left. Um, there's one all the way up here, but I'm thinking we'll probably not go up there. I think like what we'll do is we'll literally just hit up this one, this one, and then hit up this one, this one, this one, and then go home. So yeah, we're not that far off of doing that, but uh, let me just remark this one as. Uh, Bean and Jeed. And we will mark up this one for tomorrow's episode, I think. Why did that not work? There we go. That worked. Right. Let's uh, close open our... Well, close our capsule up. We're... We're not that bad. And also we need food. There we go, we're good. Right, uh, let's take off our helmet because we don't really need it on anymore. We've uh, we've got this up and running. I think what we'll do as well is we'll make sure our oxygen's all topped off. Um, so we've got plenty of oxygen ready to go. Doesn't really need refilling, but we may as well. We've got plenty of oxygen to last us. But uh, there's our warning saying that it's getting cold in about an hour. But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll leave that here for now. We've done some nice management. We'll move things around. Uh, it's just getting all this stuff back um, when, when we need to go back home. Um, like, I really want to take this with us just because it's a seed magazine and it's got stuff in it which we can use. Um, I might end up just leaving the calcium and silicon here. Uh, we don't really need it. I'll take back uh, like the solid rocket fuel, the cement, um, and all of this. It's just getting all of that into our inventory, really. Um, yet again, what I might have to do is I might have to do a bit of backwards and forwards. But other than that, we, we should be okay, uh, I think. Um, I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal. Um, just that I'll do most of it off camera. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you guys are, please do hit that like button. If you aren't, there's always that dislike button right next door to that. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will hopefully catch you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Porky?